Hi guys, my name is Scorpio. Today I'll be showing how you can hide blocks or entities in Minecraft. So to hide blocks in certain areas, you'll need to install Tweak Fork mod. It will be linked in the description. And to hide entities, you'll need to install Tweak My Client, which will also be linked in the description. So now I'll be showing how you can hide certain blocks. So let's say you have a contraption like this. And you only want to show this contraption but not the others. There are two options you can choose and I'll show the first one. You'll go to Tweak Fork. There are some options here called the Selective Blocklist type. And you can choose if you want to whitelist or blacklist the item. So if you're on whitelist mode, it'll only show the blocks that you chose and if you're on blacklist it'll only hide the blocks you chose there are some hotkeys you need to set so you'll need to set for area selection add to list it'll add the things you choose into the white or blacklist you have and also the remove from list and then you'll need to set a hotkey for selective block rendering it'll toggle on or off the black or whitelist rendering and also an important thing is you need to have the area selector set hotkey for it so now to select the area you'll first click your area selector hotkey it'll give you a little box like this it'll show at your cursor and you choose the place you want to show like i want to show from here to here and now you get a selection box. So now I want to only show this part. I'll go to the list and I'll change it to whitelist. So now if I add this selection into my list by pressing the add to list hotkey and I turn on the selective rendering by pressing my hotkey which is X plus R, I'll only render this part and not the other parts. And now if I turn off area selector hotkey, if I press it once, now I only have this part of the contraption. Now I'll press the block selective rendering hotkey again to show the other parts. Now let's say I want to hide this part only. I want to show the other parts for some reason. So I'll go back to the list. I'll change it to blacklist. You can reset the whitelist if you want to but it, it's not needed i'll change it to blacklist now if i press the add to list hotkey again and i turn on the rendering it'll only hide this area here if i press the block rendering hotkey again it'll show it back but you can see sometimes that entity will act weirdly and that's normal okay so there is one important thing that you need to know is when you're using whitelist let's say you already selected an area like this uh sorry i mean whitelist so let's say you only already selected an area and you turn on your block rendering now you say okay i want to show this part and you press your add hotkey you can see it says at zero blocks and that's weird right but actually you need to turn on your rendering so it shows every block and then you press your add to list hotkey that way it'll add correctly otherwise it'll just add nothing into your list and you won't get anything you need to turn off the selective block rendering to actually add add stuff into it and also there is another important thing when you are uh, dealing with piston movements. So let's say I'll clock, uh, clock this thing with some longer delay so I can show. So let's say like this. And if I turn on, you can see the blocks are kind of disappearing because they change to moving blocks when they're pushed and that is not added into your list it's not reserved in the list so what you should do is 
you can uh, slow the game and move it until it shows like this. You turn off the rendering and you add it in, right? And now you do this and you can see it actually renders properly. That is an important thing as well. Because <clears throat> sometimes it doesn't render and it'll look weird like your blocks disappeared and stuff. Like you can see this piston head, it's also disappearing. Which is also really weird. So you'll need to again do the same thing. So you add blocks, these moving blocks is added now. And then you also add the moving piston head into it. Okay, I think it's not adding it, but anyways. Uh, maybe here. Okay, I don't know, but... Now if I play it... Yeah, you see it actually renders properly. While it didn't before. And now let's show how to only render certain entities or only hide certain entities. So to hide an entity, you'll go to tweak my client mod, and then you'll go to the list section. Here you can see some options, but the thing we want to use is disable client entity rendering. And you go inside, you can see you'll have a list. And by default, it'll only have zombie, but you can have anything. You'll change it by just typing in like I want to hide an iron golem, I'll just hide iron golem. Uh, this name is determined by how the game uh, wrote its name, like you can just check it by slash summon and then you type, you see Iron Golem, it shows Iron Golem. Like I want to hide Ender Dragon, I can hide any entity I want by, you need to check the name behind it. Now you go back to the list, oops sorry, uh, go back to the list, and let's say I want to hide the minecart and the snow golems. Because I want to show, maybe I want to show this part only. I don't want to show the snow golem and the my cart. So I add it into the list by typing them in. You can add by pressing this button to add one or press this to remove. And then you go to disable and you can see a lot of things to choose. And you can turn on in list rendering. Now if you turn it on, you see the snow golem and the uh, minecart disappear. It's not no longer render anymore, but they are still here, they are still here. Right? Like if I turn back on the TNT duper again, you can see it still works. The snow, uh, snow layer is still forming. And that is actually all. If you like my video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!